Once upon a time, in a little town called Odessa, in Texas County, there lived a girl named Marianne. Marianne had only seen sixteen winters. The sweet and innocent as the first spring flower blooming by the Mississippi River. Texas wasn't an easy place for a little girl like Marianne to grow up, with her father, the judgmental Reverend Black Sheep, always preaching about good faith and the consequences of sin. Marianne had just begun a relationship with the baker's boy, James McConaughey, and the romance was just thriving as the Texas wildlife on a sunny day in May. Soon, that romance forced Marianne and James to embark on the greatest adventure of their lives. <laughs> Stop it, Marianne! God, you test results, Aaron. By God, there's no easy way to say this, but you're pregnant. What? No! It can't be! I want an abortion! We both know it doesn't work that way, Marianne. What if your father found out? It doesn't have to know! That's not how it works, Marianne. I'm gonna tell your father right away. It's for the best. No! You can't, Dr. Gordon! What's all this talk about? You've been pregnant? You've seen child. The worst sin of all. Whoever did it to you, pretty. Innocent little body, it's gonna hurt you, Mary. It's worth a price. Amen. Ah, hallelujah. Papa, no! Who's this boy? You tell me, and you tell your savior. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to crucify you. Papa, don't! It's... It's an orphan bakery across the street. What? But every ounce of water in the Mississippi River? Isn't that McConaughey's boy? James, is it? You sinful little bastard! Papa, forgive me! on the side of the Rocky Mountains. I saw this poster on the road of Reagan Square. This place called Greenland. They say it's the biggest island there ever was. And old man McDaniel said, Baron Airwan lives there. There sure to be a slot of land for a... Greenland. Sounds like paradise. Run away. Indian burial ground. It's like the spirits of the sheep are with me, watching me, guarding me. And right there, Marianne, is the reason why we ain't got no female president yet. Oh, James, you're right as usual. You're so clever. That's right, Emma. Now you go make me a sound. Okay, right away, James. <gasps> what was that? That's probably nothing. Just the wind creeping by. Now give me a kiss, man. Hold it right there! Hey now, Mr. Black Sheep. Put down the gun. Let's discuss this like two reasonable adults. Where we are in reason now, kid. 2i Joe overheard you talking about abducting my dart to Greenland or something like that. 
Papa, no! You stay out of this, child. Go home to mother and forget about him. You said you lost the tail, old man. Don't do anything stupid now, son. James, no! Fool! You called me to the sheriff's office! Fine idea, but as you can see, Doctor, I'm all seen up right here. Not if I can help it. Be careful, Marianne. Yeah! I'm free. I love you, Marianne. Plenty of time for that later, kids, but your father's gonna be here any minute. We need to get going. Son of horse! Can I try? I'll never know. 